We've got the old avalanche back in the shop, or at least partway in the shop. <laughs> it won't quite fit. Um, got a code for a throttle pedal position sensor this morning, uh, and then it went into limp mode. So I, um, I had my scan tool with me, or my uh, code reader, and cleared it, and it's been okay. But we stopped and picked one up on the way home, and we're going to put that in tonight. Um, I did look around on YouTube a little bit, and I saw a couple videos showing how to test these. So I won't go through that. I won't show you that. Um, but I will show you how to install one. So here's the new assembly. Um, got it from AutoZone. I'll see if I can't... Uh, Zoom in on that part number there. Now this is for our 07 Avalanche. I'm sure the Silverados are the same. So looking at this assembly, it doesn't look like it's going to take us much. Uh, there's two uh, places to put bolts and one, uh, one plug for your wiring harness. So this should be fairly straightforward, I hope. I've never done one before, so we'll, uh, we'll learn this together. This does look pretty straightforward. The first thing we have to do is remove this little clip that holds the wire connector on. Just pushing it in a little bit with uh, one screwdriver and just getting it started with another. As soon as you get it to move, it will come off. It's being a little gentle here. There we go. That's the retainer. Okay, so what you do is just give this a squeeze right there. And it will pull right off. <clears throat> now, next we have two bolts. They're 10 mil. One of the bottoms easy to get at, the one at the top, well, maybe not so much. Oop, light's falling. Got the one bolt out. The top one might be a little more difficult to film. I'm sure the camera's probably in my way. Oh, it seems to be. Uh, we're gonna need a swivel, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need a swivel for the top one. Top one's gonna be a little more of a challenge. Might have to just move the camera out of the way and just do it. Let's see. There we go. go got it and just pull that out pretty simple We've got the new one ready to go in Gonna reach up and try to get this top one started by hand.
not real tight it's just plastic so be careful on uh, how much torque you put on these That should do it. There we go. Plug the wires back in. The clip. Okay, that's back in place. Looks like we're done. Well, we'll put some tools away and start up, see if she, if she works. Um, best I can tell, there's no relearn for this, so this should work right out of the box. We've got 285,000 miles on this, a little better than that. Um, she's starting to get pretty rusty and crusty, but you know, most of these replacement parts are still pretty cheap, so it's been uh, still economical to keep it on the road. We've just been using it in the wintertime anyways. Well, let's take it for a little spin and uh, make sure that check engine light doesn't come back on, and we'll call this a win. Um, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Always looking for more subscribers. Thanks for watching.